What's going on everyone, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to be covering Shopify stores to inspire you. We're going to be looking at examples here. So you can take a look at some of these Shopify stores, what they're doing to make it successful, their layout, their color scheme, their themes, to help give you inspiration how you want to lay out your store. You don't want to necessarily be copying these stores, but you can take inspiration from them and add that to your store to make your store more appealing, higher converting, and hopefully more successful. So make sure you stay to the end of the video as we're going to cover 10 full stores here. And before we dive into it, I just want to mention the sponsor Profit Calc, the one click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It's going to allow you to skip those spreadsheets and get back to growing your business. And it comes with a 15 day free trial in the link in the description below. And we're going to show a quick video detailing their full feature set. Discover Profit Calc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. Let's take a look at the first store here and that's going to be greenhouse.ca. So immediately when you open it up, you're going to get a pop-up that's going to give you a discount. So they're trying to collect those emails right away. As when a customer enters your website, you want to make sure you're capturing some kind of information as most customers do leave. And so they're offering a incentive here and explaining why this newsletter is valuable. So exiting out of that, we can see a very clean homepage here with just the header image taking up most of it, a welcome message as well. It's a quick intro into what the site is about if you've never visited before. So if we scroll through here, they have their products on their homepage with some really nice product imagery and they match the language and the color scheme to the website as well. As you can see, it's add to crate and not add to cart here. So they're personalizing the website for their customers. Overall, they have a really nice mega menu with really good product images that make it really easy for the customer to navigate. So we dive into some of the products here, we can get an idea of what their product page looks like. We can see it's very clean, it's very minimalist, as most websites are nowadays, but they have what you want to see. They have product reviews at the bottom here to add that social proof. They have a nice product description. They have your different variant sizes here, making it really easy to select and understand what it is. Now, I really like this star ingredients here. So they're going to show what's exactly in it. So you're not questioning it, you're getting the answers you need. In addition, they have the nutrition facts here. So quite a bit of detail on what's in here, along with information on delivery. So it's going to lead you to the delivery map, as well as the shelf life, because you're trying to answer the questions they have. One page I also always like to take a look at is the about page. And overall, this one's filled quite nicely here with a lot of detail about the company and why they were started. As many customers want to feel connected online, this is definitely something you can take inspiration on is having a really good about page explaining what your company is about, why you started and what you're selling and why it's important to you. That's going to give the customers something to resonate with. So it's greenhouse.ca here. There are 10. So let's go for to the next one here. And this one's going to be Spencer Baidu. It's a clothing brand. And with this clothing brand, they're trying to create a sense of eliteness and luxury here. And so they have a very minimal theme here, really showcasing their products. They have a video on the left detailing people with their clothes here, so you can an idea of what they look like. So overall, they're going for a different color on the background as well, rather than having your standard white. And overall, not a lot of explanation of what they are, as they're kind of trying to create that sense of being elite. You know what they are already. We don't need to explain it. And so if we load up the product page here, Again, not a ton of information as they really have the product image in the center here, along with different related products with a sizing guide. So a short description, you get to select the size and then add that to the cart. So they have some information on shipping and returns, which is something that is important to people purchasing clothing as many people do end up returning items there. So we add to the cart here, we can give an idea of how they lay that out. So they have a pop-up first and a very clean card here with a simple checkout button. Overall, I'm not trying to use any conversion tactics here. You see a lot of new stores on Shopify using things such as a count down timer or all these pop-ups and stuff to try to get the customer to purchase we can see that there's no chat icon it's very clean and it's not distracting at all the next one to take a look at here is half moon so half moon's homepage it's some nice imagery on what they sell new arrivals we can see different things such as community favorites different testimonials the story along as what inspired them here and they're kind of separated into themes based on what's released now so this is definitely a bigger store here so that lends itself nicely to doing something like that they do have a pop-up as they are trying to collect emails and this one is to create an account the site also has a really nice announcement bar free shipping on orders over 85 dollars incentivizing customers to purchase more again this site is really about the product imagery they have really good product photos here that really emphasize the product they do have a pop-up here as well but overall it's going for a certain vibe and appeal with their product line here and everything's very consistent 
So something to note about this site is that it's consistent across the board from the product images to the text to the colorway. It is matching that particular aesthetic. This one does even have a gray add to cart button, which is quite unusual as add to cart buttons are meant to stick out, but it really depends on the theme you're going for. They also have details broken down here, so it's easy to figure out how to care for your product along as how to use it. And of course they have customer reviews as well. The next store we'll take a look at here is meowinkins.com. So again, when you load up this site, it's gonna give you a pop-up to collect those emails as you want to be able to gain that customer information so you can contact them on a platform that you're not paying for, such as Facebook ads. So they have a rotating banner here showing different products. They have a sale and a discount code. So it's going to incentivize you to purchase right away. And you want to make sure you get a discount if you're interested in cat trees here. So overall, they also have social proof to their accounts here. So Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So you can see that they're active there. Very bright and very colorful product imagery as well, along with a nice announcement bar and we can see that they're also collecting notifications as they're really trying to get you into their system here so they can contact you again. They also have a nice notification detailing how fast shipping is. Overall the language is quite cute on the website. We can see for humans and for cats depending on what you're looking for. Let me know about this site is they use a really big and bright add to cart button here so you're really not going to doubt what you're supposed to do next and that's add that item to cart so you can purchase it. They also have a nice shipping bar that's going to update when you are ordering things so it's going to tell you how much more you need to get for free shipping which can incentivize you to add more to your cart increasing your average order value let's take a look at vitaly next and it's going to be a very clean website they do sell jewelry so they're gonna have a lot of imagery of people wearing it to make you know what it looks like here and that's really awesome about this site is that they make it really easy for you to see what the product looks like they have this 3d rotating image here that's going to show you all sides so you're not guessing so it's be very similar to being in the store where you can actually check out an item in person. This site here went with very little color. So their images and their products are going to have most of the color. And something you want to do if you can with your site as well is show what the image looks like or the product looks like on a person. So you can see how it's actually going to appeal and appear in real life. If you would look at someone like Amazon, they always show a book and how big that book is relative to a person, which gives the customer more comfort on what it's going to look like in real life when they do receive their product. Again here, here's the 3D product image over a great way to show the item. The next product we'll take a look at or site we'll take a look at is Silk and Willow. Again, a pop-up. This site really is all about the product imagery as it really pops here from the dark background, almost encouraging you to click through here. Something I do like is these headers here. So you can see seasonal plant dyed color, free shipping over 175 and sustainable luxury, giving you a strong idea of different bullet points about this site. A tab I do like is the reviews tab here, aggregating all their social proof onto one page which many Shopify apps allow you to do. And overall, it seems they featured quite a few of them with the product images. So you're going to create that trust with your customers online. Again, we mentioned the about page before. We can see Silk and Willow has it as their second tab here after shop. So customers can click in, get an idea of what the story is behind this company, building that further attachment as well. We can see how important here it is to creating a connection online. Next, let's take a look at Detox Market. Again, we're going to have the discount pop-up here. So again, this site is going to use its product imagery to pop with colors here. You can see all the buttons are black and yellow. The text is black, but some of the images are going to be really bright. This allows the images here, such as the faces, to stand out. It's often with luxury brands or skincare brands or fashion brands, what they use is black as their main color scheme here. We can see the review stars are black. And so they're sticking with what is a common theme throughout these types of brand here for colorways. So that's something you can use as well when setting up the colors for your Shopify store. So we take a look at the product images. Overall, they're very clean and there's quite a bit of detail on the products as well we can see a description of the product the ingredients that are used how to use it as well as the brand here so overall the how to use it isn't filled out on this one but that is a nice tab to have a skincare can be very specific on how you integrate it with your routine and stuff so having a how to use it makes it easy to almost plug into your routine mentally to say oh okay i could add it here i do like that tab this one doesn't have reviews here but having reviews is always great and i do like the ask a question as well you can get a question and answer database here that customers can then look at rather than asking you. Something this site does have here is a chat widget that leads into a video here. So overall, a nice chat widget. As again, skincare could be quite specific. So being able to ask questions is extremely important. Again, something to note here is they have the story, the standards, as well as these stores and services right at the top here above the regular menu because they want to showcase what they're about as well as their standards here. As many skincare brands tend to cheat on their products and their quality. So overall, it's great to see that they're including that to kind of differentiate themselves and show why they're different. So overall, this concludes the video here. We looked at seven Shopify stores to inspire you. We looked at different product layouts, different homepage layouts, different color schemes, different product imagery. So hopefully this gave you some inspiration for your Shopify store and you can take something 
of what we looked at today and improve your store layout. Lastly, I want to mention Profit Calc again, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. This comes with a 15-day free trial and there's a link in the description below. If you haven't yet, I would love it if you hit that like and subscribe button below and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.